Oh my god, it's September. <laughs> when did that happen? Um, I'm totally freaked out that it is a new month, but that means I'm going to do a monthly favorites for you guys. This is my first month doing it all. First, I'm going to start with my lipstick. This is what it is. It is a shade of Tango Red by Best May Cosmetics. It comes in this little velvety case and this gorgeous um, gold lipstick tube and it's sort of pointed in a kind of triangular fashion and Best Made Cosmetics is really unique because they just started selling at Sephora but only some of their products. You can buy the other ones on their website but they have a store in LA um, that I went to with a friend and um, I have a lot of friends who have like their full collection of makeup basically. This is the only thing I have from them so far. Um, it is their lipstick in Tango Red, um, which I believe is their 1939 color, I want to say, which is the reason why I got it. Um, they're a really unique brand because they, um, they sell a sort of like vintage inspired cosmetics uh, with modern formulas. So they'll take a color, say from 1939, and translate it to a modern day lipstick. And I think that that's super fun and a lot of TV shows or movies um, use this company when they're looking for a very specific year um, of a color, which I think is awesome. And so yeah, definitely check them out if you're interested um, and you're obsessed with vintage things like I am. Second lipstick is from the Neon Collection by Maybelline. I love this collection because I seriously think that the quality and staying power of this is unbelievable. Like I'll put it on in the morning and I will not have to reapply this for hours and hours and hours throughout the day, which especially if I'm super busy, it's really, really nice. Um, this one is in neon red. Um, it's a, again, a very similar kind of color actually, um, but a little bit brighter. Um, it is a very orangey red. Um, and I have these, I just got them in a ton of different colors. Um, I just recommend them so much, like amazing. Other things in makeup, I am always looking for a good waterproof mascara. And I feel like I've been going to a lot of like end of summer pool parties and visiting my friends at the beach in San Diego. And so I got the Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Waterproof. That is a mouthful. Um, and I like this mascara normally. I think it's very similar to the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara, which is one of my favorites. Um, but their waterproof one, I actually like the formula even more. And I love it because waterproof mascaras I have kind of a love-hate relationship with. Um, I find they make my lashes very dry, obviously, and um, they often just sort of coat them, but don't add much volume. I don't know what this motion is. Volume! So I really like this one because it's super volumizing and you only need a few coats of it and it's waterproof. Yay! Dallas Benefit Blush! I am so loving this. Um, it's this kind of so nice. Um, it's this very bronzy color blush. Um, I think it's so gorgeous. It gives you a very kind of summery, sunny glow, which at the end of the summer is nice because especially when you're as pale as I am. I have all the Naked palettes, but I just got the Naked Basics too. Um, I don't have the first Naked Basics because there are some doubles of it, of those shades um, within the actual Naked palettes, and I'd rather spend my money on something what I don't have already. So um, I got the Naked 2 Basics. Um, it's more sort of cool tones, I would say, um, than the Naked 1 Basics, but I think it's super pretty. It reminds me actually a lot of the Naked 2 palette, um, but they're all mattes, I think. I'm pretty sure they're all mattes. Um, I've been using this a lot. I have it on now. I have it in a tutorial. Um, I just think it's really, really pretty. Nail-wise, I've been really digging nail art this month. Um, I just, I've, I've been playing around with it. I don't really do nail art stuff normally, but I think these are super cute. Um, I love this nail polish. I just got this nail polish. I got it on at a salon and I loved it so much um, that I decided to purchase it. It is the Cindy Vinylux Weekly Polish. 
um, and it's supposed to stay on a lot longer than normal polish. It's sort of like a cross between normal polish and gel nail polish. Um, I think it does stay on a little bit longer, but not by that much, as much as they brag about. Um, but I just think the color is gorgeous. It's like a classic red. It's called Hollywood and it has a slight gold sheen to it. It looks a lot more intense sort of in the bottle than it does on your nails. There's just a little bit of a gold sheen, but I think that's so pretty. Red and gold are my favorite colors ever. So body stuff. I have a Lush obsession, like a huge Lush obsession. Who doesn't? They're amazing. So here are two things from Lush that I've been loving. Um, I love their bath bombs. Obviously they're great. They're like the best things at Lush. This one is Twilight. Twilight has been my favorite recently. Um, I just got my new apartment and with that came a bathtub. And I haven't had a bathtub in a really long time. So I'm extra excited and I've been taking so many baths it's kind of ridiculous. Like what am I doing with my life? Apparently bathing. I think if I remember this one correctly it makes your bath like very kind of pinky purpley with like some shiver in it and it's so pretty and you're just relaxing and if you're like me and you're over 21 you have a nice glass of wine maybe some a book it's so nice um their other thing that i have been flipping out over this month and the reason why i wanted to do monthly favorites was to tell you guys about the rose argan body conditioner i have very sensitive skin on my legs so after I shave I can't put lotion on or else it gets super super irritated very itchy gets like red bumps everywhere it's not cute at all so I've been looking for something I can use in the shower that's really great for sensitive skin um, that'll moisturize because they also get super dry because I can't put lotion on them so this is the Rose Argan body conditioner by Lush it smells like a basket of roses, bouquet of roses, because that's normally how you get roses, not a basket of what. Um, and it looks kind of like this. I've obviously used a lot considering I just got it. Um, and it's kind of pricey, but I, for me, it's so worth it. It's been a life changer um, for my skin. It just feels so nice. It feels like I put lotion on in the shower. I do it right after I shave. Um, and it gets kind of sticky on your hands, so I always wash af them after, but um, it totally feels like you have lotion on for the rest of the day. I'm obsessed. It's end of sale season. I'm addicted to shopping. It's a bad habit, but I went on the Lily Pulitzer sale. I got a gorgeous dress, but the thing I really wanted to show you guys is the bathing suit. I think it's so cute. It's one of their kind of classic bikinis. Um, in I forget the print I think sea change or something um, and it has these cute little tassels and it's nice and kind of it's a pretty full coverage maybe I'm it's just me because I usually wear very tiny bikinis um, I lived at the beach for four and a half five years of my life so it's just that kind of culture um, but it's pretty decent coverage um, I think in the back and it's such a cute pattern um, and then the top is just a standard kind of triangle top um and they have these cute little like gold things on the ties um which are matching all over and i just love it i, I think it's so pretty the other thing is i'm a big sample sale site blah, 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 words are hard i'm a big sample sale site shopper um i don't know if you guys know about these a lot of people do some people don't um i these things like Rue La La and Oat Look, Oat Look, I think it's called, which is owned by Nordstrom's. Um, and there's one called Ideally and Guilt. And they have a lot of sort of sales on brands that normally don't have sales, but if they overstock things, they send them to um, these sites, which sell them out for discounted prices. Um, and it's definitely something you kind of have to keep checking them continuously for things that you would like for brands that you would like um and one of the ones i've been looking out for for a super long time are jack rogers i've always wanted a pair of jack rogers sandals i think they're so cute and everyone tells all my friends who have them say that they're crazy comfortable they take a while to break in which i'm still in the phases of but i got these 
um, for almost half price. Um, and they are uh, the Jack Rogers, I forget the name of the style, I'll put it down below. And they have a little bit of a heel, just a tiny bit, which is really nice because I'm on the shorter side. And they're in a kind of platinum leather color. Um, I think that they're so cute. I love these. Um, they are just adorable. I'm definitely still bringing them in, so they're still kind of giving me blisters. But I am so excited to just get to the point when I can wear these every day. Um, I This is probably my favorite purchase I've made off a sample sale site. I've done a lot. They often have a lot of beauty brands, too. I'll link my account. For you guys below I think if you sign up using mine you get ten dollars and I get ten dollars or something so you know everybody wins yay free things um, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and have an absolutely lovely September bye